when you're working with a problem that has mostly decimals or mostly fractions, it's usually helpful to convert all of the numbers into the same format. So in this lesson, we'll look at how we can convert integers into decimals and fractions. So here we're going to write 38 as a decimal. So our first step is to place a decimal point after the last digit. So we have our whole number 38 and place a decimal point at the end. And next we can place as many zeros after the decimal point as you need. Depending on the situation and the type of problem you're working with, it might be helpful to have just one zero after the decimal point or two zeros or you can keep going and add as many zeros as you need. It doesn't change the value of our number. It still has a value of 38. If you're working with dollars, it's best to place two zeros after the decimal point. So if we have $38 and we want to show two places after the decimal point to represent the cents that go with the dollars, we would write 0 .00. Now we'll write our same number, 38, as a fraction. So first step is to place the integer in the numerator of the fraction. So 38 will go above the fraction line. Second step, place a one as the denominator. And that's it. If you'll remember, a fraction represents division. So this is really just saying 38 divided by one, which is still just equal to 38. So by placing a one as the denominator or dividing by one, we don't change the value of our number. It's still worth 38. Now what happens when we have a negative integer? So here we're going to write negative 38 as a fraction, but we can place that negative sign in different places as a part of our fraction. So we could place the negative sign in front of the whole fraction with 38 over one as the fraction part, or we could place the negative sign in the numerator with the 38, or we could also place it in the denominator with the one. All three of these fractions have the same value. So just remember when you have a negative fraction, you can place the negative to the left of the fraction and the numerator or in the denominator.